This new 6'6 six demigod build with a 94 driving dunk unlocks the craziest posterizer animations you've ever seen. It also gets a 92 three point rating so you can shoot like Curry with a 6'6 six six build. And with a 92 ball handle, you're gonna break ankles every single time and make your defender look dumb. And if we hit 1000 likes on this video, I'll drop my new updated jump shot and signature styles. So make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe because 78% of you guys who watch the videos aren't even subbed, so sub up. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video today i'm going to show you guys the new overpowered six foot six demigod build that i've been using in the rec and park and it's a lot of fun so before i go ahead and get into this video i want you guys to know i made this build primarily for 5v5 rec with a team i would not recommend using this exact build with the exact attributes if you play random rec or park but if you want to do it you can and you can also use this as a template and change things up if you guys want to play different modes now for the position go point guard for the height go six foot six that's the best height to go with for a point guard position position and for the weight go 192 pounds and the wingspan go 6'8". Now the reason we go with a 6'8 wingspan is to get that 92 three ball to get that silver limitless range. That's the main reason why we go with the 6'8 wingspan. So let's go ahead and continue. Starting off with the physicals for the speed we're going to go 86 speed. Now the reason we go with an 86 speed is for gold speed booster. That is the main reason why we go for an 86 speed. Now for the acceleration a lot of people you know stick with a 71 and you can you can get away with that and be fine but I'm telling you guys, there's one badge that is very overpowered if you run five out or you ISO in general in the park or rec. And that badge is gold blow by. And to get gold blow by, you need your acceleration rating up to an 83. Now, it's not going to pop up yet because I need to upgrade my ball handle and speed with ball and all that good stuff. But acceleration is going to be at an 83 for gold blow by. Now for the vertical, put it up to 82. You need an 82 vert to unlock the crazy dunk animations you guys saw in the intro. You need an 82 vert, do not go less than that. Now for the stamina, I put it at 97. You can put it anywhere between 96 to 99. Uh, but for the, how I made this build, I went with a 97 stamina rating. Now for the driving layup, a lot of people rock with a 74, but on this build, I ended up going with a 76. Now the reason why I went with a 76 driving layup is to get gold scooper and to also get silver acrobat. Now, listen, a lot of people sleep on acrobat this year. Sometimes you get put into bad layup animations, and if you tap square in the middle of the animation, your player will do some like some type of jelly layup. And having silver acrobat is very useful, especially for like reverse layups and whatnot. So silver acrobat is a good badge to have. So we're going with the 76 driving layup. And naturally with a 76 driving layup is gonna bring up the close shot up to a 56. You can't bring that down. As you guys can see, it brings down the driving layup. So we have to have a 56 close shot. For the driving dunk, we're gonna put that all the way up to a 94 and take a look at the badges we get. We get gold posterizer, we get hall of fame slithery, gold precision dunker, hall of fame bunny, hall of fame spin cycle. There's a lot of dunk animations. But with the 94 driving dunk, the reason why we're going with that mainly is to get the contact dunks. You get some crazy animations on it. So trust me, rock with the 94 driving dunk. Now for the standing dunk, you can leave this at a 39, but we just put it up to 40 because the way I made this build, I had some leftover attributes and the standing dunk is what I decided to put it in. Now on this build, I'm telling you right now, you are going to get the most insane contact dunks. If you are not using precision dunker, AKA the dunk meter, you are missing out. It is one of the most overpowered aspects about 2k24 if you're not using gold precision dunker or even if you get it on hall of fame you're not using it you're literally wasting the badge it is one of the most overpowered badges in 2k24 and as you guys can see i'm getting some nasty contact dunks and it doesn't matter who i'm doing it on i'm getting a contact dunk on the point guard the lockdown the center with a 99 block it does not matter anybody standing in the paint is getting yammed on but with badges like gold posterizer hall of fame slithery gold precision dunker it's so cheesy it's gonna be so easy to time and i'm gonna give you guys a little tip you can actually head over to your hud settings and make the meter even bigger so you can see it even better and time it better so yeah the dunk animations are so op but do not sleep on the 76 layup okay i get insane layup animations and sometimes you know you're not gonna get the best layup animation but like i said if you tap square in the middle of your layup you're gonna get a really nice jelly animation because of silver acrobat so do not sleep on the 76 driving layup Sometimes you're gonna run out of stamina and you're not gonna get the dunk meter. So with that 76 driving layup, it's gonna be a backup and you're gonna be able to score with ease with that silver acrobat. All right, so now for the shooting, what a lot of people love about 2K24, the three point rating on this six foot six build, we're gonna put that bad boy all the way up to a 92. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why we're going with 
A 92 three-point shot is for gold deadeye and for silver limitless range. And naturally bringing up the three-point shot to a 92, we're also gonna have a 77 mid-range shot, which is very effective. And it's gonna be very OP to green those shots at the mid-range area. And for the free throw, we're just gonna put that all the way up to a 71 in case we're in a clutch situation. We gotta hit the free throws, we have free points, and uh, you're gonna be able to hit those at a consistent rate. But take a look at the badges we get also. We get Agent 3 on silver, blinders on gold. At six foot six, that is OP, gold deadeye, silver limitless range catch and shoot on gold corner specialist you're not really going to be there if you're running the point uh, but maybe on fast breaks you get green machine on gold space creator on gold spot finder which is very op as well overall you're going to be balling out from the three-point range you're six foot six you're gonna be able to shoot like curry from deep not only do we get nasty contact dunks but we are going to be an absolute threat from the perimeter with the three-point rating and with a 92 three-point rating you're going to be able to shoot from deep boys I, literally deep now what I like to do is start dunking the ball when the game starts and then the defenders typically like to leave you open for three after that. And if you know your jump shot, you're gonna hit it every single time. And if you want my jump shot, let's get this video to a thousand likes. Simple as that, it's free to support. Drop a like right now, 1,000 likes. I'll show you guys my new jump shot and my new SIGs. But overall from the three point range, you are going to be able to bang from deep. And I know the mid range rating is a 77. It isn't the highest, but I promise you, you're gonna be able to green these spin jumpers at a very consistent rate. And when teams play zone, you're gonna be able to front fade from the mid range area and green with ease, I promise. Do not sleep on the 77 mid-range as well now on to the playmaking for the pass accuracy rating i went with an 84 now the reason i went with an 84 pass accuracy rating is to get that needle threader on silver and naturally having a higher pass accuracy rating the speed of the pass is going to be incredibly faster so with an 84 pass act you're going to be able to dot your teammates on the wing and the corner now for the ball handle rating we're going to put it up to 92 to unlock a lot of good badges and to also unlock a lot of the good dribble moves now at a 92 ball handle you're going to get badges like gold blow by handles for days on gold speed booster on gold and unpluckable on gold you guys are going to see once i upgrade my speed with ball so let's go ahead and do that now for the speed with ball rating put that all the way up to an 83 now with an 83 speed with ball you're going to get the badges like i said you're going to get gold blow by you're going to get gold speed booster gold hyperdrive gold triple strike um overall bro you're going to be balling out with this build with the playmaking overall this build is a threat when it comes to playmaking when it comes to dribbling when it comes to passing everything on this build is insane with these ratings and these badges if you want to get open for three or get some space to get to the rim you got to be able to dribble so if you guys want my new signature styles let's aim for 1000 likes and i got you guys like i said but this 665 out demigod is so quick and the badge is like gold speed booster uh you know gold blow by they're so efficient and trust me man you definitely want these on but once you start meter dunking with gold precision dunker and start shooting from deep with silver limitless range teams are going to start to double and even bait so you got to be able to dot your teammates and with an 84 pass accuracy the pass animations are so nice and so smooth and quick but i highly recommend going with an 84 or higher i'm not gonna lie if i ever remake this build i might go with an 89 pass accuracy because i love to dot my teammates on the fast break or even the half court but yeah rock with an 84 or higher because if you run five out or even use screens the faster the pass animations the more open your teammates jump shot will be so with this build you're going to be able to launch it down court dot the wings and dot the corners with quickness all right so now let's talk about the defense you know all the build gurus with 15 win percents are about to be on my head in the comments section okay now listen this guys is totally up to you okay if you play threes if you play twos if you play fives i highly recommend going with all these offensive stats but if you don't like this defensive stats you don't have to do this use this as a template i use this build in 5v5 squad wreck not solo wreck squad wreck with a team so for the interior i'm going to be rocking with a 72 okay now the reason i go with a 72 is for silver workhorse and you get some really good um, defensive animations in the paint you're able to get you know big men out of the animation when they're going up for a dunk sometimes it's not the best but you're going to be able to get some stops not too consistent but some that's going to be able to help your team out defensively now for the perimeter we're going with a 58 yes it's a 58 i know i know like i said we're playing squatted wreck on this build 5v5 squad wreck i'm gonna be in the corner okay face guarding my man i'm not gonna be up top i play zone we're still gonna be able to get some decent contest and we also have bronze off ball pest now for all the build gurus in the comment section yes i went with no steal if you guys want to overpowered offensive build like this you have to make some sacrifices you cannot make a demigod build this year you can't 
but even with a 25 steel rating you can still get some bump steals without actually clicking square so if you're naturally a good defender you're going to be fine with a 25 steel now for the block rating this is totally up to you i went with a 70 okay you can go with a 68 block rating to get that bronze chase down artist but i had leftover attributes so i just went with a 70 and this is the build like i said this build is for 5v5 scenario defensively with this build it does its job okay you can guard the corner you can actually get some cool chase down blocks even though with a 70 block rating trust me i know you may not believe it but i'm showing clips right now you can get some nasty chase downs with the 70 block rating on fast breaks ladies and gentlemen this is the build name of floor spacing slasher if you guys enjoyed this video man if you guys haven't already leave a like it helps out a lot also to subscribe and if you guys want more build videos let me know and if you would make any changes to this build let me know man hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and i'll see you guys in the next one man i'm out peace